Shut up and sit down. Finally arrived. Took almost two months. But the case is here. The stainless steel manifolds from Marine Torque. So I'll be doing over the next several days all the work needed. And I will document it every step. And I will start with a, an unboxing. Alright, let's put a bunch of tape on this. <laughs> Materials in here are all stainless steel, so I can't hurt them or anything with this knife, but a little boy scout knife. Some padding. Some more padding. Some more padding. <laughs> Yet yeah, even more padding. These are handmade. So take one out. Heavy. Place it right here. For me. Let's see about the other one. Came with the gaskets. Good. I'm a little worried it wouldn't. They said it would, but I have my concerns. How to replace the anodes. Oh, here's a, all the bolts, an Allen wrench, and even a bent bolt to help you on some of the harder parts. Very cool. Put that right there. A little bent wrench, it's nice. All right, and that's the other one. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I'm gonna put the box on the floor. I'm gonna open these up and inspect them now. That's the one knife. See how shiny they are. It's wrapped up so nicely. Lay it down. Ooh. Ooh. So shiny. thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Look how shiny it is. This is the anode here. I'll show you that. This is made out of zinc and this will corrode or anodize, as why it's called an anode, before the metal does. You sacrifice this. You replace this twice a year. A little Cheapy part, you should place twice a year. See the picture, here's a new one, and an old beat up one. So this is exciting. So this is the starboard manifold. Now we're gonna unveil the port manifold. We'll walk through what these things attached to it are. Let's get it opened up proper.
Actually, I don't do that because I play <laughs> stainless steel is kind of close to being indestructible. So. But I want to take care of it, not scratch it. Notice they're a little bit different. This has the bracket up here. This one has the bracket over on the side towards the engine right here. Um, the main reason for the difference is this is where you put the oil filter. Um, on inboard engines, the oil filter normally is down here below the engine. You extend it up to here so it's easier to change out. This sits right here. And then for this one, this is where the computer sits. The engine computer sits there. So when they custom build these, I had to send them photos and measurements. So they would put this on here for me and put that on the other one on there for my, for my boat. Make sure it matches perfectly. So here's how these work. So I'm going to give you some insight. We all have a basic understanding of how uh, it works for um, a car. The exhaust trap leaves the, car, the engine. You know, engine combustion happens, explosions happen, and then the exhaust leaves. This exhaust travels up through a series of pipes in here and comes out through here. With the exhaust, it takes heat away from the engine. Now that exhaust itself is very, very hot. It's the hottest part of the engine. So what you do is you have this, all those pipes sheathed in the stainless steel and you pump water in right here. Water comes up and cools all this off, pulling the heat away from the engine, keeping the engine cool. This is brought up water from the the river or the ocean you're on, it pumps it up through here. And then what happens, it leaves the boat. Uh, the gas exhaust comes out through here and the water exhaust comes out through here. At this point, you've got it connected to, the, the two exhausts connect together into a, a Y and they go out. Usually on the outboard, they'll go out through the propeller itself. Like around the propeller, there'll be exhaust coming through. Depends on your design, but on mine, that's how it works. So uh, this is a temperature sensor, they both have it. This is the other anode for this one. They will have the water intakes. So actually, it's going to be a pretty easy install. I'll, I'm going to take the four, um, take the there's four pieces on the old ones. There's a, a riser and a manifold, and the exhaust manifold. Um, this is all one now. So the four bolts that used to hold these two together, I don't need to do anymore. So I just need to do the bottom eight bolts. So the, you know, eight, eight, or six and six. I think yeah, yeah, six and six bolts. That's it. All right, so the purpose of a stainless steel manifold. Traditional boat inboard manifolds are made out of cast iron. And they come in two parts. The bottom half is the exhaust manifold. The top half is the riser. This is all in one piece. The manifold and the riser are connected into one easy to install piece. So part of the fun of this is that stainless steel is far more resistant to rust than cast iron is. Uh, the cast iron will rust every three or maybe five years if you're really good about it in salt water. The stainless steel takes a lot, lot longer to rust. And if you take care of it, it may never, ever, ever rust. As long as you rinse it properly and keep going with the anodes, this will probably last forever. Uh, Marine Torque does give a 10-year warranty on these. So this is awesome. Super excited about this. And this is going to be a fun install.